Hello, my name is Alois Rukundo. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of HelloMed. HelloMed is a med, uh, e-health uh, startup that works to provide access to health uh, through providing medical services to patients directly from the comfort of their homes. We are providing two services. One is a uh, consultation and two is uh, focusing on patients with chronic illness, uh, such as HIV and AIDS, tuberculosis and other chronic illnesses. Currently, uh, Rwanda faces a huge challenge of hospital congestions. So according to the Ministry of Health, 40% uh, of people who are causing hospital congestions can be treated from the place of location. So their conditions are too minor to need a hospital facility. So basically that's what we're trying to address the issue of, uh, of, of uh, access to health, but by decongesting de de hospitals, uh, by providing health services to patients directly from their home. Second is also an issue of stigmatization that, is affected, that affects largely people living with chronic illness, uh, patients with HIV and AIDS, tuberculosis, uh, hepatitis and many other chronic illness. The stigma attached to the, those diseases does not allow patients to take medication from the, from the hospitals, hence staying away from taking the medicine. So we are delivering the, those medicines to their homes to avoid that. Developed a mobile solution that uh, provides um, uh, patients with uh, access to health services. So basically, a patient makes a formal request and then gets a virtual consultation, and then a, a doctor uh, visits the patient directly from their home. So a patient can reach us through a mobile application or a direct call in case of emergency situations. Our ideal customer is someone living with uh, chronic illness. Uh, like I said, due to the stigma attached to those diseases, it does not allow these patients to access health uh, medicine. Another, another client is someone with, um, who has minor condition but would rather get treatment from home, not lining up on hospitals, um, but also people with access to insurance. Um, both private and, and public. And uh, he lives in an urban setting or semi urban. So, apparently, as of now, those are the kind of people we are targeting. But we are looking to, to also work with other people, patients who um, you would call low income people uh, who need our services through a virtual consultation on the mobile phone and visit them on their place of location. The story behind HelloMed is a personal experience, a uh, person that I've gone through uh, with friends and, and family uh, experience of you know, accessing health services at the hospital that takes an average of four to six hours lining up on a hospital queue. I observed that, I thought I could come up with a solution that would minimize that. So in Rwanda, it's a method that um, an, av an average patient would spend between four to six hours on a hospital queue. And that's really, uh, and sometimes could take even days. So my solution was just out of my personal experience to make sure that people have access to health, have access to medical uh, services, have access to medicine, especially those people whose conditions are attached to stigma. So pretty much uh, it's out of my personal experiences. HelloMed is a very unique solution. It has not been practiced in Rwanda and pretty much across East Africa and larger Africa as a whole. So it's one solution that we think can be duplicated to, to uh, other countries across the continent. It's, it provides convenience, it provides, it's cheap yeah, and provides comfort. So what a patient normally wants is uh, have that convenience, the privacy and the price that is really relatively cheap but also comfort while taking, having uh, medical services. Apparently, our market size, we are targeting a Rwandan market. Rwandan market is 12.5 million, but uh, below that, we are targeting people living in urban or semi-urban settings, which is about 3.6 million Rwandan francs. So our market is, uh, is, is huge. But we are also looking into extending our markets to region and the, in the other East African countries and across Sub-Saharan. So once we have, we've, we've, we've uh, you know, uh, exercised this solution in Rwanda and across the continent, we are looking to expand it around the continent. 
apparently we are raising 50,000 euros uh, equivalent to 50 million Rwandan francs this can be raised in three forms one is through grants second is through uh, convertible loans and third is through equity so those options three options are really open for for discussion for whoever is interested to have that conversation